Hi, this is Phil Hartman with PH Fabrication and Horton Race Cars. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly shop update. Hope everyone's doing well out there. So it's been a pretty busy week at the shop, but it's going to be a little bit of a shortened week for myself. I'm taking off to Indianapolis to uh, go to the U.S. Nationals and work with the team. But um, earlier this week, Jeremy has been able to get the front clip, the radiator, and the motor pulled out of the 55 gasser. He's also been cleaning up the frame rails, patching any holes, uh, doing any boxing plates that need to be handled. And he's really got it uh, cleaned up nicely. So there's a few issues with this front end. Um, the kingpin angle is off. The steering uh, shaft was, or the steering linkage was a little real short, which causes bump steer. And also the shocks were bottoming out. So we cut all that stuff off and we're gonna start fresh and uh, give, him, give him a car that'll drive perfectly down the track. Also, we had to do a few updates to the roll cage. Um, basically, where they originally welded it to the frame, we added some gussets. Uh, we're gonna also add a halo and some door bars. Probably do a swing out door bar for the driver just to make it easier to get in and out. Also, the rear end will be coming out from underneath. Uh, this is an original 55 Chevy rear end, and we're gonna replace it with a Ford nine inch and a set of new ladder bars that we'll probably build in house. Um, make it handle a little bit nicer. We're not sure if we're gonna leave the leaf springs or go to coilovers. We're gonna kinda of leave that up to the uh, customer. Now on the land speed car, uh, Jad and myself have been working on that all week. Jad's been getting the dash roughed in the, in the place. He also got the shifter mounted and you can see we added a steering extension. Now the steering extension will make it easier for the driver to get in and out by uh, taking it off closer to the dash gives you a little bit more room. Also on the roll cage, we've been working on the aluminum plates for the ISP padding to be mounted to. So he's got the top plate in, in place. We've got two uh, to build the two side plates. And over on the other side, you can see he has been working on the uh, head shields that will go in the, into the place on the roll bar. Now these head shields will be made out of chromoly there'll be a gap left down at the bottom. So that way, if you have to cut the cage off, you can um, in an emergency. But other than that, the uh, driver's head and neck area will be fully uh, concealed and uh, covered by the chromoly plate. And that's just for safety. If something goes wrong and comes towards the driver, it protects him all the way around. Also on the front, I, last video I showed, um, our receiver that we were making. Now you can see we've got the receiver mounted in and underneath you can see where the ball would fit. So that turned out really nice. And also up here, we've been trying to mock up an idea on where to put our port for the air jacks. Now this port will get uh, a plug in that when you uh, add pressure to it, it'll raise and lower the air jacks. Now there is a, going to be a, there will be a door on the front of the uh, body, and they'll be able to flip open the door, plug their plug-in in, and air everything up. So just trying to get that stuff mounted. Myself, I've been working on the rear fin, and the rear fin has turned out pretty nice. Earlier, last video, I believe we just showed the uh, framework, and now I've got the uh, skin tacked onto the uh, framework. Still need to do some uh, finish welding along with some uh, grinding and sanding just to make the, make the finish the way we want it to look. Also on the bottom edge, we're gonna add a uh, inch and a half lip all the way around it. Now this inch and a half lip will not only uh, help hold, the, uh, hold it to the body, but it'll also act as, uh, some, some, of, some of part of the lip will be a Zeus on to uh, help hold the body on. So it'll be a dual purpose. But you can see the receiver hole for the uh, fin, and then you got the receiver on this. So hopefully uh, early next week, have this thing finished up and back on the car. Another project that came in a few weeks ago and just finally getting around to getting it done is the uh, manifold for a top fuel car. Now this manifold is made out of magnesium. Um, it had a, a crack in one of the ports along with a divot on, in the area where the uh, blower sat. So we were able to weld it up and get it machined back to, uh, to the way it needed to be. And I'll be taking that up to uh, Indianapolis with me this weekend. 
Now, another thing I normally don't show a whole lot of is uh, my personal project. And um, normally it's at my house in the garage, but uh, I needed to move it out of the garage and move some stuff around. So I brought it to the shop for, for a few weeks. But I'm working on a uh, buck for a uh, bow tail speedster. Now this uh, speedster is set on an A model frame and uh, just gonna do an all aluminum body and I don't really have an idea of what I'm gonna use for a motor. I think I'm gonna put a four nine inch rear end under it. But um, this is just something that I've been playing with at night, usually late at night or on the weekends I got off, I uh, go in the garage and work, but it's been so hot, so I haven't gotten a whole lot done on it. But I'm um, looking forward to uh, spending some time on this thing over the winter and see how far I can get along on it. Well, that is, uh, that is it for the weekly shop update. I hope everyone has a great Labor Day weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.